Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, and those who are with him are hard against disbelievers, tender among themselves. Thou seest them bowing and prostrating in prayer, seeking grace from Allah and his pleasure. Their mark is upon their faces, being the traces of prostrations. This is their description in the Torah. And their description in the Gospel is like unto a seed produce that sends forth its sprout, then makes it strong. It then becomes thick and stands firm on its stem, delighting the sours, that he may cause the disbelievers to burn with rage at the sight of them. Allah has promised unto those of them who believe and do good works forgiveness and a great reward. The Prophet Muhammad helped shape the Islamic religion to what it is today. Muhammad was the messenger of God and he spoke what God had told him to. Through the passages that Muhammad spoke, the sacred text of the Quran was formed. His name is Muhammad, meaning the most praised one. The Prophet Muhammad was born in 570 AD. Muhammad was born into the Hashim clan, a poor clan, that opposed the wealthy merchant clans in the city of Mecca. Muhammad grew up in poverty, and the strain of not having wealth equally distributed throughout Mecca created tensions between wealthy and poor clans. In 610 AD, the angel Gabriel came down to Muhammad and said, Ikra, meaning read or recite. Muhammad replied that he was unable to read, so the angel Gabriel said, Repeat after me. Recite in the name of the Lord who created. He created man from that which clings. Recite, and thy Lord is most bountiful. He who was taught by the pen taught man that he knew not. From that night on, Muhammad believed that he was a prophet, a messenger of God. After hearing God's word, Muhammad began to recite passages sent from God. Muhammad gained many followers in the Mecca area while he recited these passages. Unfortunately, Many of the wealthier clans in the Mecca area opposed Muhammad's new religion to the world. It is believed that the wealthier clans opposed Muhammad's new religion because it was mainly directed towards wealthier clans. Muhammad's new religion said that the wealthier clans needed to help those in poverty by giving some of their money away. This idea didn't sit well with those clans, so they tried to stop Muhammad from reciting passages. The wealthier clans began to bribe Muhammad with material things, hoping that these material things would make Muhammad stop reciting passages. However, the clan's strategy to bribe Muhammad didn't work because he rejected all their material possessions. The wealthier clans didn't take too kindly that Muhammad rejected their possessions, so they tried to force Muhammad out of the Mecca area. While the wealthy clans were trying to get rid of Muhammad, he was trying to make peace with the wealthy clans. Muhammad trying to make peace with the wealthy clans is how the satanic verses came to be. Muhammad tried to recite passages and incorporate the three gods in the Meccan religion. Muhammad tried to combine his passages and the Meccan religion so that people would believe that he was really speaking the word of God. Not long after Muhammad did this, it was revealed to him that it was actually Satan who suggested that he combine his passages and the Meccan religion. Muhammad then had to say that his passages were satanic. In chapter 22 of the Quran, also known as the pilgrimage, it states, Never did we send a messenger or a prophet before thee, but when he framed a desire, Satan threw some vanity into his desire. But Allah will cancel anything vain that Satan throws in, and Allah will confirm and establish his signs. For Allah is full of knowledge and wisdom.
The wealthy clans, however, thought that Muhammad had been lying to them the entire time and they wouldn't reconcile with him. Muhammad's clan also turned against him and pushed him out of the clan, leaving him to protect himself. After being kicked out of the clan, Muhammad began to travel towards Yathrib, which is now known as Medina. When Muhammad reached Medina, he was greeted with open arms and he was invited into their community. Muhammad soon realized that the Medinan people focused more on building and maintaining a community with a religious background. Muhammad compared this to the people of the Mecca area who were focused on how to make their life right with God. After years in the Medinan culture, Muhammad began to steer his religion away from that of Judaism and the Jews. One night, while Muhammad was praying, he heard a voice come down to him saying that all believers pray to Mecca. After that night, Muhammad refocused his teachings to the Arabian tribes in the Mecca area. Muhammad wanted to bring together tribes that had clashed for years and bring them together as a community. Muhammad spent the last few years of his life trying to bring Islamic peace within all tribes. Muhammad recited the passages from God from 610 AD until his death in 632 AD. The Prophet Muhammad contributed a lot to the Islamic religion, but nothing is more important than the Holy Quran. The Quran was considered to be a living text while Muhammad was alive because Muhammad and his follow followers were the only ones to memorize all the passages that God had sent down to Muhammad. After Muhammad died, his father-in-law, Abu Bakr, was named his Khalifa, or his successor. Bakr then had the Quran written down in the time of his Caliphate. After Bakr and his successor died, Uthman became in charge of everything. Until the reign of Uthman, there had only been one written text of the Quran. Other than the one written text, there were oral texts that had been memorized by Muhammad's followers. It is said that every time one of Muhammad's followers died, so did a copy of the Quran. By this time, war had become more prominent and the land that Muhammad's followers once occupied was being taken over. The invasion of land created one big problem, a language barrier. People who started to invade this land spoke several different languages and Uthman saw this as devastating to the original Arabic in the Quran. Uthman then ordered that all oral and written texts of the Quran be collected, sorted through, and written down in one version. To this day, the Uthmanic recension is the only version of the Quran that has remained unchanged and is considered the central holy text of Islam. The Quran is the religious text for all Muslims. Among the earliest known meanings of the term Quran is the act of reciting. The term Quran can also be derived from the Arabic terms Qara, meaning he read or he recited, and Kiriana, meaning scripture reading or a lesson. In this context, most of the passages in the text were spoken by the prophet Muhammad. It is believed to be the book of divine guidance for all human beings no matter what culture or religion. Muslims believe that it is the last revelation of God himself. They believe that God spoke all of the messages in the Quran and so everything in the Quran must be true. The Quran is a series of divine passages followed by Sifa Ibrahim or scrolls of Abraham, the Torah or Torah, the Zabur or Psalms, and the Enslel, or Gospels. Each series describes different passages or messages that were sent from God to Muhammad. The Quran's main theme is complete submission, or one who submits to the world and the will of God, who is God, and the only God. Muslims submit everything they have to follow the word of the Quran because they believe that it is the main miracle of Muhammad, and Muhammad was a prophet of God. The Quran, unlike the Bible, doesn't give detailed stories of historical events. Instead, the text in the Quran focus more on the moral significance of the historical event.
Muslims believe that the Quran possesses several different names. The Quran is sometimes referred to as Al Huda, or the Guide, Hikralu, the, remember, the Remembrance of God, Al Hikmah, the Wisdom, and Kalamula, the Word of God. Another common name for the Quran is the Arabic recitation. The Quran consists of 114 surahs or chapters. Each chapter is considered to be either Meccan or Medinan. Meccan chapters are passages that were sent from God while Muhammad was in Mecca, and Medinan chapters are passages that were sent from God while Muhammad was in Mecca.